for a very important event, Child Abuse Awareness Month. And uh, we're going to hang the beautiful flag in a couple of minutes. But first, we want to hear from our select board. So here's Jane. Thank you. Whereas every child is entitled to be loved, cared for, secure, and protected from verbal, sexual, emotional, and physical abuse, exploitation, and neglect, and whereas 220 local children have received services for abuse at the Children's Advocacy Center of Hampshire County since 2006, and whereas by strengthening families and providing safe, stable, and nurturing environments that are free from violence, abuse, and neglect, opportunities are created for children's growth and success ensuring a future for our communities where the needs of children are a priority and the needs of families are met. And whereas preventing child abuse and neglect is a community responsibility that depends on partnerships created among families, social service agencies, schools, faith communities, civic organizations, law enforcement agencies, and the business community. Whereas, each April, the Town of Hadley and other supporters of the Children's Advocacy Center of Hampshire County ask the public to join in outreach efforts to reduce and prevent child abuse. Now, therefore, we the Select Board hereby proclaim that April 2023 will be known as Child Abuse Awareness and Prevention Month in the Town of Hadley. We ask all citizens to increase their participation in efforts to prevent child abuse, thereby strengthening the community in which we live. Thank you, folks. Beautiful. Uh, my name is Here. Sullivan, and I'm... Uh, Good afternoon, I'm Dave Sullivan, I'm the Northwestern District Attorney, and I have really the honor of working with so many partners that are here today, because addressing child abuse and making sure that our children are protected and cared for uh, is all our, our responsibility. We have to work together. So first, I want to thank Jane and the rest of the board uh, for their dedication to this particular month and making sure it's a priority among all your citizens. And it means a lot because people see that flag, they start asking questions, they start learning more about uh, child abuse, and particularly uh, what the Ch Children's Advocacy Center of Hampshire County does. And, and Kara McElhoon is going to talk about that a little bit more. But we work with many partners, and our most important partner is our law enforcement. And Chief Mason and all his officers, many assembled here today, do a tremendous job in working with the uh, Child Advocacy Center and also with ours. So kudos to your department, Chief and also our first responders. They're part of that uh, community that are the eyes and ears, along with our schools, our teachers, our school nurses, uh, DCF. These are the people that report and allow us, both the DA's office and law enforcement and DCF, to go and see what's the matter. Maybe there's nothing, but if people have a suspicion, we encourage them, make that call to DCF or make that call to the Hadley police. It's the least we can do uh, to look out for our fellow vulnerable citizens. And I want to recognize Linda Pisano, who's our chief of uh, the child abuse unit for many, was. was passed. Well, she got a temporary appointment. She got an hour appointment. Don't worry, you'll get, you'll get uh, a cup of coffee later. Uh, but uh, uh, she was part of a, a wonderful team and we, we got many people from the child abuse unit here and they do tremendous work. And uh, again, kudos to uh, the Child Advocacy Center and their team. Um, and I just want to recognize Dan Carey. Dan uh, Carey does a tremendous job advocating for children and families in the legislature. And it's, it's not everybody that takes that extra time and files that extra bill on behalf of children. And you've been a great partner to the Child Advocacy Center as well as uh, our DA's office. So thanks again, uh, Dan. So without further ado, I want to introduce Kara McLehoon, who's the Executive Director of the CAC. Thank you, DA. Thank you all for being here today. I wish you didn't have to be. I wish child abuse was not an issue in our community, 
but it's an issue in every community. In fact, one in four girls and one in six boys is sexually abused before they turn 18 years old. And that's not okay, that's not acceptable to any of us. And so our job at the CAC and our job as first responders and as legislators and as community members is to be the voice of kids, to, to help make sure that if they need us, that they, they get the help they need and that as adults we step up and do the right thing. So today, um, as we raise this flag, I just want to say how deeply grateful we are for your partnership, for all you do for kids, for being the trusted adult in the life of a child. Uh, and, you know, hopefully, maybe next year we don't have to do this because maybe we'll fix this problem together. But uh, uh, until then, let's keep doing it and working together. <laughs> and I also want to point out, Linda Pisano not only was the chief of the child abuse unit, but is now a board member of the Children's Advocacy Center. And that's just one person that really dedicated her life to the work of protecting kids. And we're not letting her get away from this. So we've, we've roped her back in. So, <laughs> which again, just shows how committed everyone involved in this work is to helping kids. Um, if it's okay with you, uh, Representative Kerry, would you be willing to say a few words? You know when I don't know I'm going to speak, those are going to be my best speeches because they're the shortest. <laughs> this morning I was looking at my calendar and I had to be in East Hampton, Hadley, South Hadley on Zoom all over the place. And my wife said to me, Dan, it's a, a red flag day. And I said, I know, Hadley, 2 o'clock. <laughs> she said, no, the National Weather Service says it's dry and windy. There could be wildfires. But on my mind in April, I thought she meant our red flag that we're going to put up the poll in just a minute because it is Prevention and Awareness Month. And the more that we can talk about it and do these events all around the community, the more we spread that awareness and help another child and another child. We heard those disturbing numbers. They're not nationwide numbers. They're Hadley numbers, Hampshire County numbers, Western Mass numbers. It's happening here and those children are fortunate that we've got such great teams in the DA's office, in our law enforcement, firefighters, first responders, folks that are helping those children who need that help. So as long as it's happening, we're going to continue to support you on the state level and thank you for everything that you do every single day. Thank you. And before we raise that flag, I just want to invite you all to Child's Park tonight at 5.30. We'll be having a community luminaria where we'll have luminaries out at Child's Park and throughout the community, 2,400 that represent the 2,400 children that we have served in our community. So I hope you can see you tonight, um, 5.30, Child's Park in Northampton. All right, should we do the flag? All right. Baca, the Bikers Against Child Abuse, who fought a court with uh, the kids and helped them get the confidence to go forward and step in and testify, which is the most difficult thing in the world, but you guys are always there for it. Thank you. Thank you. 